home of the Royals. Day baseball from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. Today, a showdown out of the American League Central between the Minnesota Twins and the Kansas City Royals. And now, Royals baseball starts right now. Kansas City Royals. Danny Duffy, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Now to the plate, Byron Buxton. He will lead this one off today. First offering on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. First pitch, 210. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Here's the 0 and 2. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. And now here's a look at the Minnesota Twins starting lineup. Dero, daytime road game for him. What you got? Yeah, Matty, the one thing that jumps out at me is the fact that this team just does not drive the baseball. Last in slugging percentage. You can chalk a little bit of it up to their ballpark, but the bottom line is this will eventually catch up with them. They have to work better counts and at least try try to create some havoc offensively. The average coming in at 266, 32 home runs and 94 runs batted in. Down the left field line and deep. And it's a foul ball. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Perez recovers, and he makes the throw to first. Polanco is retired, two down now. Next up, Mitch Garver. First pitch coming, here it is. He's ready, here's the 1 0. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun, it's 1 and 1. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Here's a swing and a miss at the off speed pitch. It's a full count now, three and two. Just underway here in Kansas City. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. Taylor able to track it down for the third out. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Twins nothing. Royals coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Jose Barrios, the right-hander out of Puerto Rico, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? Their ball club is going to have to keep a close eye on this one. This guy's nearing 200 innings on the season, and that's a lot of innings. The guy that takes the ball every five days, I'm sure they're going to watch to see if there are any signs of him tiring early in this one. 
And up steps Salvador Perez. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. First delivery to him. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. The 0 2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0 2 and then start Batting working second. outside the zone. Easier said than done, Mickey. but that's the way you do it. Lopez. At the plate now, Nicky Lopez. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. 302 is the average coming in. Two home runs and 42 runs batted in. The windup and the 0-1. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Lopez is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1-0, 2-0. You'll that see this hurt. guy try and get nasty a little field. bit, but he stays Quit. within himself. He knows what his Barrel strengths field. are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. The 1 0. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. The 1 1. Well. Good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Whoa, you cool. know a pitcher is really no fighting fielder. himself when he misses Andrew. a zone by that much. I'm surprised Andrew. the catcher could even bring that in. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. And he'll dive back in safely. And again a throw and he'll dive back in. First pitch on its way in there now the throw and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. I think coming into this series they knew he was one of the guys that were going to have to keep quiet. But he's setting the tone right here in the first with the steal of second. He could end up being a big factor. The 0 1 offering. One and one. Merrifield at second with two down. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. One left for Kansas City, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game.
And now in the box, Nelson Cruz. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. First pitch on its way. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. So here's how the Kansas City Royals are positioned defensively. And I'd like to focus on Salvador Perez, the man who dons the tools of ignorance behind the dish. He's a clubhouse leader. He's one of the best pitch framers in the game. He's like a soft blanket back there for this pitching staff. That'll bring up Luis Arise. And he puts it on the ground to second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Batting six, the third baseman, Miguel Sano. Stepping in next, Miguel Sano. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Now the first pitch. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. The one and no delivery. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. Twins are set down one two three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and that means batting next will be the center fielder Michael center A. Field. Taylor. Michael A. Taylor. First pitch of the A.B. now. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Hey, you know, d -Row, Rusty Valentine, he's known for having a high and a low strike zone, but he's pretty good east and west. You better keep it on the corners. Yeah, I'm okay with Rusty's zone, without question. You know he's going to elevate. It's north-south, so you're aware of it. As a veteran player, you can live with that. And there's one away. Batting six. Okay, here's how the day. Twins are lining up defensively. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. So now Carlos Santana. Guess he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He's entering play in this one, a home run shy of 20 for the season. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled away. Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it. The right baseman. there, three fastballs in a row. He goes. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. And he puts it on the ground to second. Reined in. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. KC down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading he off the to third play. after the first so six guys in the lineup have been Andrelton. retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Oh. 
And now pitch on the way as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike. The 0 1. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play. And with one away we show you a look at where these guys sit in the current division race and basically they're left with no hope. Into the box Ryan Jeffers and he is proving to be something of a non threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Count now a ball and a strike. Off speed pitch just missed inside. Bounce to first. Gloved by Santana. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting up. The first baseman, Max Kepler. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Popped him up. Perez is under it. And he makes the catch to retire the side. Down go the Twins in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. In is Jorge Soler. And the average isn't pretty. Down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. Last month wasn't very kind to this guy. He's one of the better hitters in all of baseball. He's hoping to rebound and have a much more productive month. This is foul right side. Soler playing here in his age 29 season. He's in the midst of his eighth major league season. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two and two to Jorge Soler. Three and two to the Royals designated hitter. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter. Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up. This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Gallagher. So the next to bat will be Cam Gallagher. Kicks and deals. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. 
off the plate. One ball, one strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Up next to the now back to the top of the Good lineup, pitcher. stepping in, Salvador Perez struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. There goes the runner. In the dirt here. Oh, and this is low, and it won't be dug out, so he picked the right pitch to run on there, and he's in at second base with a stolen bag. Ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. So there, the runner at second with one away. And he fouls this one off. And a swing and a miss and another punch out here. Six already and that's out number two. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. No they finally get him on a one and two pitch but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. At the plate, Nicky Lopez, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready with the 1-0. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Center fielder coming on, and the Royals are in the hit column. The tag, and they'll get him at second, and with that, the side is retired. Royals settle for just the one. On now to the top of inning number four. It's the Royals one, and the Twins nothing. Matt Vaskersian, Mark DeRosa, and Dan Plezak back with you as Byron Buxton readies to lead off the inning. First pitch on the way. Comes set with the 0 and 1. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. To the plate now, Jorge Polanco. And that misses for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now the 1 0. 
Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one-two. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him, and I doubt there was any intent behind that. Well, he's really been good all game long until that one. He was definitely not trying to hit a guy when he's got two strikes on him. It just appeared that it got away from him. Striding in is Mitch Garver. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. And that was one of the hardest hit balls they've had all game, Matty. It's been a pretty feeble effort by his teammates on the offensive side. Now here's the first offering. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Low of the fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. And it's fouled away. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. There's one. Up next to the play, the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Now the number four Minnesota hitter, Nelson Cruz, hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1 0. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. No Two and one. No. I mean, he had to. I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt and say he was sitting something off speed. Because to be laid on a fastball in an account like that is just unforgivable. A runner on first with two away. Popped him up. Gallagher over to his right. And that ends the inning. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Royals are on top, one to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And Whit Merrifield will dig in at the plate. The right fielder, Whit. Here's the first pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Oh, and one, here it comes. Merrifield, a 32 year old veteran. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Oh, and the slurve is over for strike three called. One gone. So, with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the now pitch batting. speed comparison the for the two field starters field. here in the fourth Andrew. inning. And these two guys have Bennett both displayed their power arms so far with top speeds at 94 and 97, respectively. And that'll bring up the left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi, struck out in his first at bat. Now here it comes. Ball nope. one. One run, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Royals. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled off. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Here comes the one two. <laughs> yep. 
And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation now with these batting. middle Center of the order fielder. guys. That's back to back K's. Eight. And the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Stepping in now, Michael Taylor. Popped him up. Garver has a play. And he makes the catch to retire the side. Royals go down one, two, three, but they hold a one nothing lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Leading off All on right, Heidi, thank you. The second baseman, Luis... Here's the first pitch to him as he lifts it in the air to right field. Merrifield has it and it's a quick out number one. So still now nothing back. against him on the, the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see right there that these guys rank second in the AL in that category. Now one down with the bases empty and the next to bat will be the big third baseman Miguel Sano. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Good change up there to start him but it drops a little low for ball one. It's no wonder this guy's pitch count is so low. If they keep swinging on the first pitch he's got a real chance to go deep into this one. The 1 0 home. Bases are empty, one man out. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's 2 and 1. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. And it's two balls and two strikes now. He must know something we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I, I don't understand why he's taking. The 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the payoff pitch home. There's oh, ball, four. ball four. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he the laid off some ball. really tough pitches Definitely and got a walk. Hit. Got to tip Ain't the cap good. to the batter that time. Simmons. Digging in next, Andrelton Simmons. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Sano, base runner at first with one out. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. Grounder down the line at third. And that's the first hit in this one for Minnesota. He's been cold. Batten average fell below 230, but that knock might have put him in a positive frame of mind. Hopefully that's the start of something big right now. Yeah. 
Into the box, Ryan Jeffers. And so wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 0 1 pitch. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Fouled away. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Here's another one, too. He stays alive still two and two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And another foul ball. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that once, and now we go full count. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities. And when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. So now to the plate, Max Kepler. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. And he fouls this one off. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And it's fouled away. The set and the one two. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Now two and two. This is the pitch where you want to attack the zone. If you go three and two, then you put the runners in motion. Two and two, here it is. Fouled off. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. Fouled away. You can visibly see the body language of this guy on the mound is completely changed during this at bat. Six foul balls has to be completely frustrating him that he can't put him away. And he fouls this one off. And 
And the 32nd pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that will retire the side. Back to back strikeouts keep them out of danger. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. And it's fouled away. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Now one out, base is empty, base. and that'll bring up Hunter, Hunter Dozier. Dozier. First delivery to him. One out, nobody on. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses one and two. High in the air down the right field line. Under it is Cruz now for out number two. Up next to the Royals, the designated hitter, Jorge. Soler. So here's the Royals DH, Jorge Soler. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Here's the pitch. That's a Outside with that slurb of his one ball, no strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. 2 and 0. Oh. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Two well count, the pitch. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. And that hole at that, I feel like he yeah, really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really yeah. surprised by that because yeah, I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. Next to hit is Cam Gallagher looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. A look now the pitch called strike at the letters 0 and 1 that elevated fastball right there that is the biggest change in the game today for me when I first came up a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west 0 1 here's the pitch one and one. maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball One one to first 
right to him. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Royals leave one, but they're up one to nothing. Here's Byron Buxton now. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Matty, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. First pitch on its way. Pops this one up. Santana is there for it looks it into his glove and there's one gone the bat, the Jorge. so now to the plate for hip Polanco and now the first pitch you know a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch that might be the case with this one right here took a wheelhouse fastball 0 0 center cut didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Here's the 0 1. Yeah he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right here pushing the throttle and pulling it nice change of speeds. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Here's the pitch. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches but not this time. I think that was actually a good take but on two strikes anything that close can go either way. At the plate now Mitch Garver as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits to this point. Comes set and the 0 1 changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Now, one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to 1 and 2. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Now, a pitch swung on and foul tipped right off the mask. It sounded like of the home plate umpire, and that cannot feel too good, I wouldn't imagine. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw to first ends the inning. Twins are set down one two three. They're down one nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now and up next the former World Series hero Salvador Perez. The catcher. Salvador Perez. First pitch on the way as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Throw on to first in time one away. The batter number eight. Second baseman. Nicky Lopez. 
Next to dig in, Nicky Lopez. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, I'm not sure what they saw right there. Maybe the first base coach was giving him the green light to go ahead and go to second base, but obviously it didn't work out in that situation. It did take a good throw to get him, though. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Tried to shoot the corner, and he missed it, two and two. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. Still even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Lopez is retired, two down now. Up next to the board. Now at the plate, the here field. is Whit Merrifield. Whit. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. One and oh, the count. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. And a bouncing ball foul. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. KC down in order. They lead it one to nothing. Kyle Zimmer is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. So here's the cleanup hitter, Nelson Cruz. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run. Just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. You know, because this is just a one run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Now the one and one pitch. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now that second baseman, Luis Arias. One gone now in the Minnesota seventh, and next to hit will be Luis Arias. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. One out, nobody on. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball, one and one. Here it comes. Fouled off. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Lifted the other way out to left center chasing after it is Taylor and he tracks it down a nice running play to record the second out. Now batting third baseman Miguel Sano. Stepping up is Miguel Sano. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the pitch. 
And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Good curveball there gets the swing and miss. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot, throw that breaking ball in the dirt, and see if he'll chase after it? Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Down go the Twins in order. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Now to bat, Andrew Benintendi. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Here's the first pitch. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in these ABs. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced so far. A one pitch on its way. And there's ball one. The one one. Ball three. Three and two now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Jeffers has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. The center fielder, number two, Michael A. Taylor. One man gone now for KC in the seventh. And that means batting next will be the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. To short. Boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. The first baseman, Carlos Santana. Here's Carlos Santana now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, Dero, with that stacked infield on the right side. You hit it through where the shift is, have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there, got him to hit it where he wanted to, put good barrel, good contact on that ball, and was able to find the hole. Hunter Dozier digging in now as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. The 1-0 is laid off but in there for strike one. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right hander are up to throw. Santana leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now back, the designated hitter, Jorge Soler. At the plate, Jorge Soler. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. 
looking to make it three straight two out hits here. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. Slurve swung on and missed there. It's one and one. One and one, the pitch. Well, the Royals have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. Here's the one two. Popped up. Arise. Shading to his right. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. Royals strand a pair. But they lead it one to nothing. Frustration boiling over with an opportunity missed. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Josh DeMont has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth. And digging in is the veteran DH, Andrelton Simmons. And now the first pitch. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The wind up and the 0 1. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Left side. Throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Well that was certainly worth another look with show track. He made that play look easy but the sliding stop is anything but. Then he rifles the ball across the infield to complete the out. Just a great play all the way around. Jake Cave will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. First pitch on its way. The numbers offensively pretty dismal to this point down in the 170s to start play three homers and a dozen RBIs. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Bases are empty one man out. Two balls and a strike. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Max Kepler is on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Fouled away. To short, hit hard. Throw on to first, two gone. The back. Very tight ball game so far. One nothing the score as we take a look at our starter comparison, and both guys have given excellent performances to this point. Next, it'll be Max Kepler. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him, and he fouls this one off. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. 
Bases are empty here with two men out. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Twins are set down one, two, three. They trail this one one to nothing. Jake Cave remains in the game, batting eighth and manning left field. Hansel Robles is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. So now into the box is Cam Gallagher. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Cam Gallagher. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. And it's fouled away. Robles has compiled over 65 innings of work and in that time he's compiled a whip under 1.3 translation he's better than league average in that category one and two the counts of the Royal shortstop Wow that changeup is an absolute beaut they call it the great equalizer for a reason here comes the one two Hey, doubled up on breaking balls there outside. Now might be the time to bust that fastball in. Now the three and two pitch. Ripped down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Twins are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Well this is one of those as a pitcher where you don't get rewarded for pitching well. He threw the ball great in this one. Didn't get Munt's run support. He's in line for the loss and he deserves a much better fate. He threw the ball pretty well in this one. Here's the catcher Salvador Perez to the left side but it's well foul. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Oh and one here it comes the bouncer to the left side and there's his first base hit in this one. Up next to the Warriors, the second baseman, Nicky Lopez. In now, Nicky Lopez, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0 1 on its way. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Perez stands at first with one out. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Whit Merrifield next to hit as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there.
Merrifield behind a ball and two strikes. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. One left for Kansas City, but they're on top one to nothing. Scott Barlow comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. New inning set to get underway and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Yeah it's always a nightmare taking on another team's closer trying to get back into a game especially in the ninth inning but having your leadoff guy up to start that inning is as good as you could have hoped for. So let's see if he can get something started here. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Digging in the switch hitter Jorge Polanco. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now the first pitch. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Hit in the air to center field. Taylor is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. The Next, it'll be Mitch Garver. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Now, here's the first offering. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. Tying run at the plate the 0 1 swing and a miss and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon real ugly 0 1 swing there as a pitcher you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance final strike for the twins swing and a miss he struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over wow that game flew by but that's what happens when you get a well pitched one run game both hurlers battled and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one a single run good enough to do it today one nothing the final score Kansas City led this game from the third inning on and never wavered Danny Duffy earns his fifth winner of the year permitting only one hit in six complete innings Jose Barrios takes the loss despite striking out 11 batters Scott Barlow earns the save out of the bullpen his 17th on the year so that'll do it for us for Mark DeRosa Dan 